Hey guys, Dogum Rock. So welcome to another episode of my test board. And in this episode, I am going to be talking about, well, basically combination locks. So yeah, a few days ago, I watched Ant Venom's video on combination locks, and he made a, a basic idea for a really cool compact combination lock. But the th but there was one major problem with it. It wasn't completely foolproof. So I recreated Ant Venom's uh, combination lock right here. Actually, the RS no latches are a bit different. I use CNB disk. Uh, sorry, I use CNB Minecraft's version. Thank God I was gonna say CNB Disco. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, basically uh, the combination lock. So and this is the combination. It's this one, this one, this one, and this one and yeah there you go so that lamp lit up that means my combination was correct and I can turn reset the circuit to using that button so yeah this uh, this combination lock has to be done in order so I can't just go from this one to this one to this one then the combination is not going to work so I have to go in order you can make it any order like so whatever happens I have to do it in order otherwise it's not going to work see so I gotta hit this one, this one, and then this one. Yeah, there you go. But there is one major problem with this. So for, before I show you the problem, I'm gonna just show you guys. So when I hit the first button, that torch is gonna light up, which means uh, my combination is right. Second button, that torch is gonna light up, my combination is again right. Third torch, yep, there you go. And the last torch is that one, and it should light up when I hit this button. There you go. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you the problem with this combination lock. So I'm just going to close my eyes. I'm literally going to close my eyes and yeah, I'm just going to spam the buttons and there you go. I just closed my eyes and spam the buttons repeatedly out of no apparent order and still I got the combination right. So what's the deal with that? Okay, so I'm just going to reset this so what happens is I can hit the right combination so imagine no first of all imagine I don't know what the combination is so I'm just gonna randomly press these button buttons in any order I like but eventually I will land on the first digit of the combination so I can so imagine I go clockwise like this and eventually I'm gonna hit this button and when I do that torch is gonna turn on then I'm just gonna keep going in my anti-clockwise pattern and eventually I'm gonna hit this button see all the other even if I hit all the other buttons nothing's gonna happen but eventually I'm gonna hit this button if I just start spamming the buttons so I got two digits right so again I'm just gonna start spamming and eventually I'm gonna hit the third button and at last I'm gonna hit the fourth button so the problem with this lock is if you get the combination wrong the circuit does not reset itself so yeah, once you enter at least two correct digits of the combination, then the circuit is going to store that data and just keep it that way. And you can just randomly spam all the buttons until you get the correct combination. So that's a major drawback. So in adventure maps, players won't have to. So like you're going to have to enter a code to enter some kind of secret facility or something. But you got to find the code. And to do that, you got to beat a dungeon. So, so imagine there's something like that. But if you're a smart person, you would just spam all the buttons until you get the combination right. So that's a major drawback with that. So I went ahead and created this circuit right here, with, which is an auto-resetting combination lock. So if you enter the wrong combination, this will reset the entire circuit. So if you come over here, I'm just going to show a small demonstration. It's, this, it's basically the same thing from here. To these three repeaters here it's the same thing over there except I added in this small extra circuit which um, <coughs> actually uh, detects any um, wrong combinations and if it detects any wrong combinations then it's gonna reset the entire circuit so here we go the combination is this 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 and this there we go so now and I'm just gonna reset the circuit and let's try to spam. So 
so I'm just spamming my button buttons and yeah eventually oops uh, oh yeah uh, by the way this is sky skyblock guys uh, yes yeah, so I'm just spamming all the buttons hoping to get the combination right <laughs> as you can see the redstone lamp didn't light up that means my combina combination was downright wrong <laughs> okay so yeah so here's uh, I'm gonna show you so if I hit this button that torch lights up if I hit this button that torch lights up and if I hit this button all the torches turn off and the circuit resets how cool is that so yeah um, basically uh, this is really easy all I did was place um, <coughs> how do I say this um, I placed a torch on the side of the RS null latch like this so on the side of the first block and I set a repeater and a small redstone uh, so yeah I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side so you guys can see so torch right there repeater and dust then all I did was put two torches behind so the thing about this is if my combination is correct both these torches should light up but if my combination is wrong then only one torch will light up so if I hit this button only one torch will light up that one right there see okay so I'm just gonna turn down the music again turn off my music I hate so yeah so now I'm gonna try to enter the correct combination so I'm gonna oops I can't press a button there yeah okay and now if I hit this button then both both of the torches should light up there you go they both light up so yeah using that method I connected it to a small redstone gate which is this one right here I can't exactly remember its name I think it was the exo gate. I'm not really sure I can't remember the name I'll put it in an annotation for you guys to see and the cool thing about this gate is if both of these levers are off then this redstone dust remains unpowered however if one lever turns on then the redstone dust there will be powered and it can be any level it can be this one as you can see or it could be this one but the thing is if both of them are on then this redstone dust will remain off so it's got to be at least one on one off for this redstone dust to receive power otherwise it will it won't work so all I did was connect one of these to those two torches right there and that was really simple and it really worked but thing is this is actually as you can see three wide so I need to make a two wide version and the two wide version is this one right here except um, the thing with this one is that it does not include um, well, the torch here and the redstone line here uh, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Okay, the uh, so, the, uh, so with this one, you can turn on any one of these torches, and the redstone dust will be powered. However, in this one, only by turning this torch on can will this redstone torch turn on. Otherwise, if you just turn on this um, lever, this torch won't turn on. Well, it's a bit confusing. Okay, there you go by doing that this is the reason for that is very simple reason because um, if I enter the wrong combination as you guys saw only this torch will light up only this one this will never light up so yeah I don't need like both of these levers to be connected that way so I only need I only need the redstone dust to be powered when this lever turns on not this one so this one actually doesn't matter so that way I just hooked up the circuit to this gate and yeah that so there are four gates and each of these gates yes as you can see the redstone torches are connected to a bunch of wire 
and you're probably wondering why there is an inverter well the problem is even if you get the combination right there is there's a small um, delay which causes this redstone torch to turn on and off really quickly and thus it resets the circuit once again so what I did was I just took this up to an inverter uh, connected to a repeater set to about three ticks and what that basically does is this redstone torch turns on and off really fast too fast for this repeat repeater to do the same thing uh, let me just show you um, I could see okay see the redstone torch turns on and off really fast too fast for the repeater to actually um, um, do the same thing because it's set on a 4 tick delay however if the combination is wrong then the pulse of this um, redstone wire will be longer causing this repeater to eventually turn off causing this redstone torch to turn on and reset the entire circuit so um, yeah that's that's basically it um, okay that's a really interesting finding so if you guys wanna download and try out this map I will put a link in the description for you guys alright so yeah that's all uh, this is Dogum Rock signing off don't forget to rate comment and